if we want to use stable diffusion with Google Colab, what we can do is use this Colab, and I'll link to it. Um, this is a very interesting one because it has all the features that you need to start running stable diffusion by just using Google Colab, so essentially free. And what we're going to do is just run through these cells. The first one that we run is this NVIDIA SMI thing. And what that will do is actually will tell us if we have a GPU available if, or not. If we don't have that, so if we get an error here, what we want to do is go to runtime, change runtime type. This will take a while <coughs> on my machine here. And then what we can do is check that we actually have a GPU. If you don't, we, we're gonna select GPU in the little box here. So this one, um, make sure that it says GPU and we'll restart and then we will have access to a GPU, which is convenient. All right, and then this is the, the big one. So um, this is where we choose which kind of rendering that we want to do. So do we want to use a prompt? Do we want to use clip guided prompt? Do we want to use image to image? In our case, a regular prompt is fine. Uh, we have these general settings that apply to all of the above. So what is the width? What is the height? And what is the CFG scale? So the diffusion scale. In other words, how closely should our thing follow the prompt? This is set quite high initially. Uh, I actually like to have it a bit lower. If you have it lower still, it's going to mostly or start ignoring the prompt and mostly start um, inventing stuff on its own. Um, but around 11-ish is fine, I guess. Then um, there's a seed which we can use if we always want the same image or uh, experiment with the same image. Then we do upscaling. So whenever we take the image, we don't stop there. We can actually choose if we want to upscale it. We're leaving at this default here. If our image is 512 by 768, uh, it means we, we get an image of 1024 by 1400, 1500 something. Um, and then we choose based on the mode that we chose above here. So this is set to prompt. We are gonna look at the mode here. So the prompt and then the settings for that. So here's a text prompt. I put in a text prompt here. This is how many diffusion steps that we want to run. Uh, by default, this is set to 200, which is a lot. I actually set it to 50 here. You can set it even lower if you're just experimenting. It will just give faster images. Uh, the higher you set it, mostly the better quality, but I don't think it ever has to go like to 500. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, so I set it to 50. I like it set to 75 or something works as well. This is all settings for a different kind of mode. So if you're using clip guided prompt, which sometimes gives better results, then we have to use these settings and this prompt, but we're not. So we're using these settings because that's the mode we set it in. So we have to fill in these settings. Uh, this is for in-painting, this is for image to image. Again, we can ignore these because we, we're not using it. Uh, this is what kind of model we're using. So the Stable Diffusion 1.4. And then one interesting thing that we have to have here in the last one is the number of iterations, basically how many images that we want to see. And this is set to four. Uh, so we get four images. We're using Google Drive for pictures. So it's saving Google Drive. It will also pop up on a message. This one is already loaded, so I, I already said yes to the message. Um, but this one you normally set. And then this is a, the folder where it's going to save. So AI picks. Um, all right. And then if we're happy with that, we can run, press run. And that will start generating the images. Now, the very first time you do this, this will actually go really slow because it will take a while to load up all the data and to load in the data. And every time you have a new one set up, this will take a while. So this goes much faster than you, what you would see, especially the first time. But then after a while, after it's loaded, this goes much faster. Also, the upscaling will load some extra packages and that will also take some time. Again, this has happened here before because otherwise this video would take too long. So now we get the uh, image that we see here and then the upscaled version of the image. Again, these are saved to your Google Drive. We prompted for that. Uh, but we can also just do save image as if we like the image here. Uh, this is our second image. Again, this is a typical thing in Stable Diffusion that we get multiple copies of our character sometimes uh, in different shapes. Uh, yeah, and then we get number three, number four and so forth. Um, if there seems to be something locked up or something, you can run this soft reset. So this cell basically tries to remove as much garbage from the, from the memory as possible. And that allows you to run the prompt again. If that doesn't work, you can click this one and it will restart the environment. 
Uh, you can also do it here. You can say runtime and then restart runtime and it will also give you a clean machine. Remember, whenever you do that, you really have to wait for it, for all the packages to load again and to download all the stuff so that the first time will definitely take uh, five minutes or more just to get started. But then you can keep running it for uh, a couple of hours and, and, and experiment on that. Uh, here at the bottom, again, this is a bit slow. Here at the bottom, you see a list of all the settings uh, explaining what all of the different settings do. So what the mode does, the width and the height, the scale, the seed and so forth. So be sure to read that as well. Um, and then that's it, I think. Happy prompting. <laughs>